Hi guys, in today's tutorial I will show you how to make a glowing car pop out effect easy in After Effects. So first let's scroll to the clip you want to make this effect on and then duplicate that layer. Now we will need to freeze the frame, make sure to choose the frame that is not too close to camera, in my case the car is too far and I will freeze it, right click on duplicated layer, then go to time and select freeze frame. So now we have a still image and we will need to isolate the car from a background, but before we begin masking, let's cut the ending of a frozen layer. Now let's pre-compose it, I will name it mask and then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Let's grab a pen tool and mask out the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done masking, toggle off masks from here so we can see the car clearly and then make sure to match the image and the video like that. Now let's press S on a keyboard and then click on scale stopwatch icon. Scroll to the beginning of a mask layer and change scale to 0%. Select both keyframes and hit F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve like mine. Let's quickly check it. Looks awful, but we can add some effects to make it look better. But first, let's press T on a keyboard and then scroll forward something like that and click on opacity stopwatch icon, then scroll near to the end and change opacity to 0%. Already looks better, just enable motion blur on mask layer and then click on toggle switches slash modes and change mask layers blending mode to screen. Now apply find edges effect. Make sure to check invert and then apply tint effect. Change map white to any color you want. Now let's apply a glow, I will use a deep glow plugin, in case you don't have it, make sure to DM me on Instagram a word, plugins, and then wait for my reply. Let's check the effect now. Looks fine, but I don't like an opacity timing. Press U on a keyboard and play around with opacity keyframes until it will look smoother. That's better in my case. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.